Hello Year 2. Before we get started, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper. Pause the video to get yourself organised. In this lesson, you're going to write the rest of the story map. You learnt the story map last week with Mrs Gabella with the actions. You also wrote the first three sentences. We're going to write the next four sentences of our story map. Here's our first sentence that we're going to write this up this, in this lesson. What was Mary doing? Mary was helping. She went to lots of different places. The sentence is, Mary went to lots of places to help others. Mary went to lots of places to help others. Well done. So Mary went to lots of places to help others. Nine words. There are two tricky words in there that I've noticed. And I'm going to pop them in here so that we can use places and others. There we go. The other words I know that we can work out using our Fred fingers. Can you remember the sentence? Mary went to lots of places to help others. Mary, you've written Mary quite a few times and you've had lots of practice doing that with the other story map. So, Mary, Mary went to lots of places. Right. Mary went, went, what a mt, what a mt. Mary went to lots of places, lots. How do you spell lots? Let's use our red fingers. Lots, 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 lots. I'm going to read what I've written so far just so I don't forget. Mary went to lots of, of, of places. Oh, I know places. I can use a spelling up there. Mary went to lots of places to help. To oh, we've got another word, helping and met. Mary went to lots of places to help others, and others is already. I've got a spelling in my word bank up there. Help others and. A little reminder for me to full stop. There we go. Mary went to lots of places to help others. Are we happy? Hmm, something's not quite right. We need to remember our capital letter for the beginning of a sentence and a full stop. Did Mrs. Jalef use one? No, so we're going to fix our work to capital letter. Mary went to lots of places to help others. Well done. Right, now the next one, you're going to have a go with me. Here we go, here's our next sentence that we're going to write. And here's some two words, I think we might need that a little bit tricky. We're going to have the word soldiers and Crimean War, because that's where Mary went to help. Crimea is the place, so it needs a capital letter. Crimean War. Here we go. This time you're going to have a go first, and then we will write the sentence together. Mary went to help the soldiers in the Crimean War. Mary went to help the soldiers in the Crimean War. Are you ready? Let's see how many words we need. Mary went to help the soldiers in the Crimean War. Ten words. Are you ready? Here we go. Mary, you know. Are you ready? So you can have a go first. Mary went to help. The soldiers in the Crimean War. 
right, I'm going to read the sentence again and you can pause the video at any point. Here we go. Mary went to help the soldiers in the Crimean War. Right, here we go. Mary went to help. Now, last time I forgot my capital letter and I've got that in my brain already. Here we go. Capital letter for Mary. Mary went to help the soldiers, which is a tricky word, but not so tricky because I've got it in my word bank up here. Mary went to help the soldiers in the Crimean War and we've got Crimean War to help us as well in that, and remember Crimean needs a capital letter in the Crimean War and what do we have on the end to remind us a full stop here we go Mary went to help the soldiers in the Crimean War. My sentence makes sense. I've got a capital letter, got my full stop, and I remembered my finger spaces. Right, let's go on to the next sentence. There we go. Mary was also helpful because she gave them food and medicine. Medicine is a tricky word too. So let's write it here. Med is. Are we ready? Here we go. Mary gave them food and medicine. Mary gave them food and medicine. Right, your turn again. Mary gave them food and medicine. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need time to think. Mary gave them food and medicine. Remember, you've got your word in the word bank to help you. Are we ready? Here we go. Mary gave them food. Mary gave, gave, g, a, g, a, and this get, the word gave has got a split e. So here we go. G, a, where's my friend? He's on the end. Mary gave them food, them. Mm, eh, mm. Food, food, I know food, but food and medicine and medicine. I've got my word in my word bank. Medicine and my full stop. But should we read to make sure it makes sense? Mary gave them pod. Pod and medicine, that's not quite right. So I'm going to go back and check and I'm going to think and use my phonics. Food. Ooh. Poo it to zoo. D. Right, let's try that one again. Food. There we go, that looks better. Mary gave them food and medicine. Remember, you can always fix your work afterwards. Right, let's look at our next sentence. Here we go. Our last sentence. This one's quite a long sentence, so we'll do it in two parts. After the war, she got a medal for being brave. After the war, she got a medal for being brave. Now, 
there are two tricky words in there and we're going to write them up here we're going to have medal and we're going to have the word brave actually no i think we can use our phonics for that one here we go i'm going to split this into two parts of the sentence after the war she got a medal for being brave right it's your turn to write the sentence are you ready remember you can pause the video at any time you need time to think of the words and the letters you're writing here we go after the war she got a medal for being brave right are we ready here we go after the war so after the war so we need the three words and after is a bit of a tricky word so i should have put on there but never mind here we go after the what or war is also a bit of a red word so actually we should have popped it on here war after the war we're going to have a comma because it's split into two sentences after the war she got a medal for being brave okay here we go she got a medal for being brave right this is our tricky sentence yet after the war she she got a medal whoops medal no try again medal i need to look up on my word bank medal for being brave being here we go but e it but e it here we go for being but e if being brave now brave has also got an a split t are we ready but a four sounds but a here we go for being brave but a where's my friend he's on the end and my full stop which is over there yeah too, this was a very tricky sentence and here we go we've got your two words to help you when you write your sentences what we'd like you to do is i want we would like you to go back and have a look at the story map which is on the previous lessons from last week and we would like you to retell okay we'd like you to retell it and and write the sentences and upload them onto tapestry okay you can always go back to the video and use the words in the word bank to help you we look forward to all your sentences and all the work that you have done thank you